you fucking kidding me? It's 11.43 at night. It's raining outside. Why are the dogs outside? Okay, anyway. What's going on my Killer Countdown Klansmen? My name's Rashawn Bass and today we're going to be taking a look at a movie called Le Sequel, which was originally released in 2016, but was re-edited and re-released in 2018. Now this film is directed and written by Jay Crute, and I say written is because this film is 100% improvised. Yes, 100% improvised. This movie's about a film director named Carlos and he's setting out to make a direct sequel to his movie called The Fear, which was a complete disaster. So this time, Le Sequel to Le the Fear has a much bigger budget and, well, the production goes just as bad as you assume it will go. I mean, to have a pretty decent sized group of people work together on a film with no actual lines but I guess just the concept and just let the scenes run, that takes some serious chemistry. The cast did a damn fantastic job with what they were given. Now with how everything was filmed and how it all came together, now you have this big melting pot of characters and this instantly made me think of The Office. You have all these different people with their particular personality traits and more than a few of these characters in this movie are batshit crazy and I fucking loved it. At face value you know they're not all friends but just how everyone interacts with each other, you can just tell there's so much chemistry there and it makes for some really good laughs. Breathe. She's a simple bitch. My no, friend, my no, friend. No, no. Trust me. I did economics. I don't want to trust you. I did economics, really... math and science, okay? Oh, you really? just get a home here. Yeah? Math and science. Did I you go to school? You yeah, do, I did actually. Do you have higher education? I do have higher education. How high? We went, uh, I'm six how high two. can you go? How yeah. high can I go? I have a master's. What have you got? It doesn't matter. Sorry, I have a senior. I have a mistress. I have to give him a round of applause. You know what, better yet? I'll give him a Drake clap. Come on, Drake. That sequel cast, we did a fantastic job. The only problems I have with the film was that I felt like some scenes went on just for a little bit too long. Well, when you do a movie fully improvised, obviously you're gonna get some of that because you just don't know where to cut some scenes off. And also some jokes and gags were just a little bit too repetitive and just, <laughs> they seemed to take it just a little bit too far to the point where it got just a little unfunny. But other than that, I enjoyed the film overall. Like I appreciate the fact that this movie was as good as it was, knowing that it, had no script. You just take a concept and you run. I mean, I've done completely improvised skits in the past. I mean, on my main channel, I've done that quite a bit. And even those are kind of daunting tasks and those were just seven or eight minute videos. But when you compare that to an hour and a half feature film, it still managed to make a cohesive story. Some plot points were a little unnecessary, but it didn't really kill the overall movie for me. You just can't take a movie like this for granted. And a lot of you know how much I love unique ideas when it comes to comedy and horror and just concepts in general. But like when you have a really good concept, Concept, but you don't have a fucking script written down, but you still managed to execute it to, wouldn't say perfection, but you did a really good job of it and it's not a shit show. Yeah, I gotta give credit where credit's due. So the sequel to La Fear is definitely a good time. A lot of laughs to be had, great moments, memorable characters, impeccable chemistry between the cast. Jay Crute, you did a very good job with this. Uh, man, I, it's, I aspire to be somebody like you. Like stuff like this is what I always aspire to like make. So once again, great job to the cast and the crew. You guys fucking killed it. I'm getting warm. I gotta take this hoodie off. It's like 85 degrees in this bedroom. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And subscribe to Join the Killer Countdown Clan. Just don't go burning any crosses now. Did you?